Hi everyone, this is Sabina from Origami and today we'll build a SharePoint homepage that will knock your socks off. Okay Sabina, really knock my socks off. How? By giving employees the one thing they ask for, personalization. Ready? Let's go. First, let's take a look at the page we'll have ready by the end of this video. Our page will start with this dynamic banner welcoming each employee by name. The search at the top here will help find forms and templates in just few clicks. This can be personalized to a job role. Next, we've got a carousel with news and announcements targeted to employee. And these quick links are also targeted. So both of these show what's relevant to me. Next, we have the searchable resource library that not only looks bright and modern, but also gives me resources based on my access. And finally, here we have new hire welcomes and company-wide events. Overall, the page looks crisp and almost as if it was designed for each employee individually. Now, let's make this page from scratch using origami web parts already set up at my SharePoint. If you don't see some of the web parts I'm showing, it's probably because origami is not installed in your tenant. So I included the link in the video description below on how you can get origami. All right, let's dive in. We'll start with the page header. We're so drowning in information these days. It's so refreshing to see a page that says, Hey, I know who you are. Let's help you find what you're looking for. So let's make this page relevant with this origami search banner that calls out to employees by their name and gives them resources based on their job role. After adding the search banner, I'll connect it to a document library with company-wide forms and templates. Now, because this document library is security aware, I can target some folders here to only show, for example, to managers or specific departments. Next, Let's add a splash of color here with this gradient and a bit of a glow effect. I'll also make it a bit smaller. This will make our page stand out, but not overwhelming. So far, so good. Now, news and announcements are a common fixture on the internet, but some news only matter to employees in specific location or region. Let's see how we can target those instantly. First, let's add origami post carousel to our page. Now let's add some news posts. I'll click add posts and enter all the details here, including the thumbnail image. Here you can use a stock photo or upload your own. Now let's target our news posts to employees based on their role, department, or location. In traditional SharePoint, you may need to ask IT to create a security group for you before you can target anything. With origami, Targeting is way simpler. Regardless if your news post is in SharePoint or external site, you can simply choose one of these employee profile attributes as a target. So, for example, I can target this news to employees in a specific location or a department or only employees who have direct reports. There are also other options we'll look at in our next videos. When ready, I just click Save and just like that, the post only shows to the people to whom it is targeted. To preview a post that is not visible to me, I can go back to the edit mode and select everyone under targeting. This way, I can see how this post looks to the targeted employees and decide if there's anything here to change. In my case, I'll target one of my news posts to the engineering department, save the changes, and adjust the color a bit to match my style guide. Now that I've got news and announcements, let's add a few more useful items to this page. Let's start with quick links. Quick links will give employees access to the most frequently used enterprise applications. The problem is that not everyone needs the same tools. Some departments may use one tool daily and others don't even know what it does. We'll use targeting to solve this problem. I'll start out by adding quick links that the marketing department will see. Once I add all the details like 
title, icons and URLs. I'll click save and apply a few styles to make these links look the way I want. Let's now target this entire set of links to marketing. To do that, I'll go to the targeting options here and similar to how I did before, target the links to members of the marketing department. So only people from marketing will see them. Now I'll create a second set of links with tools for project managers. Again, let's go to the targeting section and set these links to show to project managers. Perfect. I can now publish this page and as I scroll down, I'll be shown links for marketing only because that's the department I'm in. Quick links are great for showing the most important tools at the top, but I can't have too many of them here. Sometimes you need a searchable library of resources. For things like employee handbook, policies, templates, or forms, I'll use a SharePoint document library. SharePoint document library lets you target files and links to only show to users with specific permissions, and you can manage this access right down to a folder level from the settings here. The problem with the out of the box document library though, is that if I add it to the page, I can't easily search for the files and links in there. And it also looks a bit small and hard to read. To fix that, I'll use the origami finder web part that will connect my SharePoint document library and add a search functionality and just overall better user experience. Okay. Let's connect the origami finder web port to the document library I already have. I'll also adjust the text size and the height of the web port and select the colors that match my style. And just like that, we have a document library that looks bright and way more functional. Okay, this page is packed with targeted resources, but I think it's missing a bit of a social area where employees can connect and meet new hires. I'll use the origami social corner web part where HR can post new employee welcomes. I want this web part to keep all the welcomes together in the welcomes folder. So that's what I'm setting here. This folder sits in my site pages library on my site. So you can even make posts expire after some time. You can also choose to moderate what is posted here. But in my case, I just want to give HR the ability to post here. So I'll toggle the option and make the web part hide the author. That's it. So that was Social Corner. Now let's wrap up this homepage with the events calendar. I put this calendar next to the Social Corner because these would be social events. But you can certainly move it up the page and post more of corporate events. Your events can come from any SharePoint list or even Microsoft 365 group. In my case, I'm keeping my events in SharePoint, but I don't want to show this calendar view and instead show a running list of all upcoming events this quarter. So I'll set the default date range to this quarter and go to the styling section to turn off the month view picker. Let's also give this calendar a bit more height and color code our events based on the category. There are a lot of other options here, but I'll leave the rest as is. And now we are ready to publish this page. So there you have it, a beautiful SharePoint homepage that is personalized and on brand. If you watch this video and wondering whether a similar page can be designed with purely out of the box components, check out 12 SharePoint web parts for a powerful internet video on our YouTube channel that explores web parts available out of the box and how they compare to origami. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.